so today we are going to be kayaking to Antelope Canyon on Lake Powell in Arizona. I think we're on the Arizona side. Bree right now is setting up our cooking area. We're going to do a big carb meal with veggies because we're going to be kayaking and we can only take what we can carry so we're trying to limit that. Um, we just went to shop in town, checked in, did all that good stuff. I think we have a two-person kayak for two days since we're overnighting and I think it cost us 167 or something in that range um, so yeah we are you can see this water behind me on the other side of that water is antelope island so we are going to cook a meal right now and then we're going to load up our kayaks me brie hayden and david make our way over there and then we're going to spend two days kayaking in antelope canyon and it looks sweet i'm so pumped this is like the thing i've been looking forward most to on the trip so also little shout out to brie this is the third activity she has planned and everything that she has planned has been like exceptionally better than everything else we've done. So she's awesome at what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we were just at the little shop checking in and now we're gonna pack up our bags. We just bought a dry bag um, for camera equipment because we do not wanna ruin anything, obviously. So we're gonna pack like food, our tent, sleeping pads, sleeping bags. Um, I think the other guys are not bringing a tent, but we got a new one and we want to try it out. Um, yeah, so we're bringing some ramen on the boat and then we're gonna heat up water in the thermos and bring that to cook it up. So it's gonna be a fun, like, you know, 24 hours. <laughs> What's up? David Rule here with another awesome action-packed vlog. Today, we're going into Antelope Canyon to shoot some freaking bangers in some blue-ass water. <laughs> Not just a clown, I'm the entire circus. <laughs> Food, paper towels, toilet paper bowls, stuff, uh, sleeping bag, everyone's camera equipment, life vest, Bree's got our sleeping pads, her sleeping bag, Oh, actually, the tent is also in my bag. And then, who knows? There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? <laughs> that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. The guys are out there. Um, I had a doctor's appointment that I almost forgot. Good, luckily he remembered, so we're like 30 minutes behind them. We're gonna go try to find them, and we're trying to figure out how we're gonna get all of this on here, plus ourselves, and not ruin the equipment, so. I wasn't anticipating it, but these cliffs are massive. So we found a beach ahead and we think we found them. So if you see these huge cliffs, whoo, almost lost my paddle. We believe that's them right there. We just washed up on Antelope Island. This is our campsite for the night. It's super dope. We have an awesome view of the lake. There's some good cliffs. That'll probably be good for cliff jumping. And now we're about to head over to Antelope Canyon and do a little kayak adventure through there. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna inflate these babies. Last time we used these was in El Shelton in Patagonia, so hopefully they're still good. Okay. What are you doing up there? And we have a winner, Woo! folks. She is all the way done. Kevin's lungs are weak sauce. So lightheaded. You're in the dust. Weak sauce. So camp is all set up. We're heading out from our little paradise. We're gonna go into Antelope Canyon. Um, I think it's an hour or so kayak in, and then we're gonna hop out and hike for a few miles. Here's David. Oh, that's me. This is where 
where we're gonna beach our kayaks and start hiking. So we're at the end. freaking sand frog. <laughs> look at me right here. Either that or I look like Gollum. But what do I look like? Gollum. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that looks sick. I'm precious. <laughs> We are cruising through Antelope Canyon right now. David's been getting banger after banger after banger. Uh, but in doing tons of shooting, tons of photos, tons of video, it is unbelievable in here. Continuing on, we're not really sure how far this goes, so just kind of going on blind faith. Did my best. Keep it going. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> Just start throwing sand everywhere. Get it, make sure it's set trendy. Get it. <laughs> We are all slotted out. We are heading back. My job says we've gone like six miles, which is <laughs> definitely inaccurate. I'm not really sure how far we've walked, but heading back now, it's been awesome. We are about back to the boat launch. I'm gonna put the camera away because it is nerve wracking having this expensive camera out on the water when you're so close. And it feels like you're gonna splash it or get it submerged. So I'm gonna put it in the dry bag and then give you guys an update back at the campsite. I've got that nice bent back from the kayak. They're so tired. We kayak so far and hike so far. We're almost back to our campsite and I am pumped. Should catch an awesome sunset. There's some really cool patterned uh, sandstone rock at the campsite. So should get some cool stuff. I'm pumped. What are you working with? Roasted garlic. Super uh, extravagant and fancy. <laughs> Um, I got it at Safeway, <laughs> $3, so. <laughs> when we kayaked all day, our salad sat in the baking sun. So it's a nice, warm, steam hot salad. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Had some peanut butter bread and a bag salad that Bree and I split. And we are currently making our pad thai, but we're running low on water, so got my life straw. Gonna go suck some water out of Lake Powell. It's pretty funny because geographically our car is like right there. But uh, we are out here for the night. Gotta do what you gotta do. This dog wants to see what Kevin's doing. It's not working also. Hayden, what's your plan for uh, the night? You thinking Astro? I'm, I'm thinking Astro. Maybe. Where are you sleeping? I'm pretty comfy right here, dude. Like I'm thinking Scooby Snacks, man. <laughs> yeah, Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Aiden's got the rock, the life jacket, <laughs> to the backpack pillow combo. Oh, yeah. All right, so the sun went down and <laughs> pretty quick, and <laughs> I'm taking some astro shots. The moon is not going to be up for a few hours, so it is super dark. So right now. I'm having Bree flash the light on this area for my foreground just for a split second in a 25 second exposure. And I think I just got the photo that I'm pretty stoked with. So I'm probably gonna call it on that. Uh, but it's been an incredible day, incredible 
kayaking, hiking in the slot canyons and everything. So we're going to call it a night and we'll see you guys in the morning. Apologies for how crazy I look in that previous video talking. Um, I told him. Ah, if you can see that. That's the photo I just got. Pumped. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Beautiful. So this is like so loud. So I tossed it outside the tent before bed. And I just slept on the ground. And there was like one of these, I think, under my back one night. But I felt good considering. She's the only one that shot sunrise too over here. So we pre-packed peanut butter sandwiches in this bag and they got smushed. So take your pick, bottom or top. Nice. <laughs> So Hayden and David made their way back, but we had a ton of more camping gear to pack up. Also just taking our time because this place is an absolute vibe. I don't wanna leave. It feels like we're the only people on this massive island and it feels like we're in like Greece or something. So we are just soaking up every minute of it. So I think Bree's gonna get in. Um, hopefully Hayden and David aren't waiting too long on us. <laughs> So we are heading back. Just got some last minute photos, but probably gonna call the video here. Um, what do you think? This is an absolute must if you're in the area. It was so, so much fun, you guys. And like, you didn't need a guide, so you were just free to explore everywhere yeah. on your own. I recommend if you do go in the canyon, like go super early in the morning or like late in the evening, because it was just so peaceful. Like the waters were calm and the light was amazing. Um, and no people when you yes. don't go in the middle of the yeah. day. But yeah, I mean like aside from waking up on a secluded beach or so it feels like we're the only people here, um, kayaking, slot canyons, it is an amazing adventurous two days and definitely do the overnight other than the day trip just because it's fun and why not? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Peace out guys.